Alright, hello fun and welcome back to Kerbo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Meporia Planet Pack, which is being made by user Gurin Login. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a, a lovely new gas giant on the edge of the Kerbal Star System with a small number of moons. So let's uh, jump into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get here. Now there's not a whole lot of new celestial bodies added here so this is gonna be a pretty short video today and if we zoom out you can see good old Meporia all the way out there and look at its highly eccentric orbit this thing is crazy just look at how far away it can potentially go from the center of our star system there. It is a pretty cool orbit and would be quite challenging to get to. Now let's uh, go select it and uh, zoom right on in to have a gander at uh, the Meporia planet itself. Which is a very nice looking gas giant with... A glorious ring. Oh, I'm always a sucker for a ringed world, and this one is quite nice. I do like the coloration on it, and the view, it's just wonderful. Now, as for the planet itself, it's quite a large gas giant at 8,300 kilometers in radius, with, of course, an atmosphere, but not one you would want to go and investigate. It is a gas giant, after all. Now, the first of its three moons is a Vitarage right here, which does have a pretty nice view of uh, Meporia there, and in certain parts of its orbit, even has the rings very nicely in view. Now, as for the moon itself, it is dark. I mean, there's just very deep blacks and purples across the entire planet. It's definitely a hard one to land on because, well, it's just really, really dark. But all in all, I still think an entertaining place to go visit, especially with that view. Now, as for its size, it is 350 kilometers in its radius, with no atmosphere present. Now, next we have Rosarius, which is a very brightly colored moon here. It is 320 kilometers in size, once more. No atmosphere to speak of, and sadly, a bit far away from Maporia to really get a good look at its rings, but still, it's kind of in view there, and if you squint real hard, you can kind of see the rings. All in all, though, a cool little uh, moon here with some nice topography and nice texturing. I do very much enjoy it. And then we have... Harrow, which is very small at only 75 kilometers in size. Once more, no atmosphere, and oh, this is another difficult one to land on, though not because of the coloration, but rather all that topography. I mean, just look at all the mountains on this thing. It's just a big spiky ball. Oh, I have not landed on this one yet, but I think it would be a very, very challenging time for me because, man, that is just loads of mountainous death. But uh, still a fun, nice little challenge of a moon to land on, though very, very far away from uh, Meporia itself. Let's actually zoom out here so we can see the whole system. There we go. As you can see, quite a ways away from Meporia, and also with its own a very large eccentric orbit. And uh, yeah, that is it for the Meporia system. That just brings us back to the sun. So let's go and have a look at uh, Meporia itself and a close-up of those glorious rings with this satellite I've got here and yeah it's this is a nice little pack i haven't looked at a planet pack in a while and uh when i saw that this one had updated granted not to 1.7.2 it is actually for 1.7.1 so if you want to play around with this you're gonna have to uh revert your game to the previous version but still a nice little planet pack with a cool new gas giant with gorgeous rings and a couple of really nice moons so if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself which i would certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but that is going to be it for today my friends i hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one